Dr. Paul Baker is a highly experienced anesthesiologist with a special interest in adult and pediatric difficult airways. He's renowned internationally in the field of airway management and has been researching and teaching in this field for more than 20 years. Airway management is an absolute core skill for uh, airway practitioners, and by that I mean anaesthetists, emergency medicine, intensive care doctors, all who are given the task of managing patients' airways. Airway problems accounts for up to 40% of morbidity and mortality in anaesthesia. And when an airway goes wrong, it can lead to devastating outcomes, death or brain damage. Another issue is these complex, difficult airways are actually rare. Most people's airways are normal and they're easy to manage. But you can't always pick the difficult ones. And when they come along, you have to be prepared. So training is absolutely vital. And you have to keep your skills up to be able to manage things at the drop of a hat. Vital but difficult when the only practice opportunities were on blocks of wood, mannequins or real people. Mannequins have their place as a start-up way of learning. The trouble with mannequins is they're very rudimentary and simple, so they're all right for learning on a normal airway. But of course, what we need to know is how to manage patients with difficult airways. When you return to the workplace after a basic course of learning on a mannequin, you're still going to be unprepared if you're confronted with a really difficult airway. Learning to use a flexible bronchoscope is a complex skill. It requires a lot of time to get up to a level of expertise. In fact, we use the flexible bronchoscope on very difficult airways. So the big gap between the simple model and the difficult airway has to be bridged somehow. And traditionally, that's been done on patients. But that takes time to see enough patients to develop that skill. The awesome bridges that gap and brings you up to a level that's far more realistic. And I think that confidence is so important when you are given a difficult case to manage because you feel a lot better about dealing with it and you have developed the skills and the mental approach to that airway. The awesome simulates a whole range of difficult airways so users can practice in a very safe way. It's safe for the patient, safe for the instructor and safe for the learner. Dr Baker also found traditional training methods very expensive. Training in the operating room takes attention away from the patient which isn't good. But secondly, it can use up operating room time. And operating room time is measured by the minute. Whereas if you take that outside the operating room and use it on simulators, it becomes less expensive. Using uh, clinical equipment for training can result in expensive damage to those clinical instruments. And each one of those bronchoscopes costs about $20,000. So if a trainee breaks one, that's a devastating impact on the department. It's now known that if you use a simulator you can reduce that cost by up to 80 percent. That's why Dr Baker assembled a team of software developers, 3D graphics experts, engineers and industrial designers to help create the awesome bronchoscopy simulator, combining the latest in simulation technology and graphics. This unique device is the result of many years of research and development and is changing the way clinicians approach airway management. It's an all-in-one product. It has a proxy video bronchoscope, it has a recorder, a light source, and a camera system built into it. And then you've got up to 30 very distinct uh, models or, or mannequin equivalents that are far more sophisticated than a mannequin, all wrapped up into a very small portable device. The sensor registers movement of the insertion tube from the bronchoscope and translates this to a three-dimensional, anatomically correct, virtual airway displayed on the laptop screen. The original Awesome 1 software has now been upgraded to the Awesome 2 with enhanced graphics and increased animation. With our animation, the airway can pulsate, uh, it breathes, you see swallowing and also when you're introducing the bronchoscope through the mouth the tongue will move. Now they're all designed to make it far more realistic but also to help the user to become familiar with what actually reality is. It's, it, that movement creates more difficulty that they're going to have to cope with in the real environment and that brings them closer to that expert level that we want to see. Evidence shows that the more realistic your learning environment is, the greater will be the transfer of skills to the real environment. There's also a new user interface with two distinct areas, the awesome freestyle space and the awesome lab. 
In the freestyle space, users can learn autonomously, spending time improving their skills. This space is also ideal for workshop learning. In the Autumn Lab, users are guided through a curriculum based on a staged learning pathway. Users progress through increasingly difficult scenarios in order to develop expertise. It takes a long time to become an expert in airway management. Many airway problems are rare, so it can take years to gather experience clinically. Airway problems are also varied. They can present as congenital problems, infection, trauma, or medical conditions such as macroglossia. The benefit of the awesome is that it allows practitioners to gain years of experience in just a one-hour session. The awesome has become an essential training tool for every clinician needing to acquire and maintain skills in bronchoscopy. The whole simulator system consists of three main parts, a replica video bronchoscope connected to a desktop sensor with a dedicated laptop running the necessary software. It takes just minutes to set up and is easily carried from place to place. And this means the simulator is equally well suited to independent practice and classroom learning. Project it onto a big screen for lectures. Use multiple units for workshops and put it to work the rest of the time, letting trainees learn autonomously. And when training's done, it simply packs away for easy and secure storage.